hello, uh, my name is Gerard Nairs, I'm from Mitten Antiques in Shropshire. I'm just about to give you another tutorial on various items we've got in the shop and today I've chosen to do one on string boxes. These are the items. They're pieces of essentially domestic treen. They were used um, primarily in houses and large shops to store balls of string so that they could easily be used. A ball of string would be in the body of the string box and you could pull out the amount that you required and then chop it off with a pair of scissors. These ones are quite interesting because these three are examples made out of a wood called lignum vitae. Lignum vitae is an interesting wood in itself. It's the hardest wood uh, in the world. It's a wood which was principally uh, produced in the tropics and subtropical areas of America, the Caribbean, that sort of area of the world. Uh, it's a, from a tree that didn't grow very high um, and as a result the pieces of lignum you find are not very big because the, the tree only grew to say 25-35 feet high consequently of course the trunk would be of limited size and so the pieces of wood would be of limited size that one could produce from them. What's quite interesting about lignum vitae because it is so hard and dense it's quite hard to work. Um, the other thing is it's actually so heavy it sinks in water. I believe it's the only wood that sinks in water. They're wonderful examples of the uh, woodworkers and wood turners art. They've turned lovely shapes here on the top with little acorn finials on this one, a little ball finial there. Wonderful examples of turning there which because of the density of the wood would have been a hard thing to do. They unscrew so you can put the ball of string in the top, through the top, and to produce that threading is a skill in itself and that's how to just the main body of the wood that's been turned just a lovely little object they're typically um, about 1900 the latest ones these ones are considerably earlier than that they date from about 1820-1830 in date uh, and they're just very nice examples of simple domestic treen, things that would have been used in everyday life but have survived very well.